All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back over here. I know that uh, I'm not in there with you live, but I hope that you were able to use these videos to uh, do the projects that I put out there. Again, I'm going to be out for a little bit of time, probably about three weeks. So make sure that you check daily in our team for new videos. And those videos will accompany little lessons and assignments. So um, we're going to make it easy on you guys. I realize that you might have some technical issues out there. Things uh, might not work as easily for you at home as it may be for me. Don't worry. You know, it's the strangest year of our lives. It's 2020. I'm in a great mood because I have a new baby and I will, I'm super understanding of any of the problems you might have at home. So if you're having an issue doing any of these projects at home, don't panic. Um, don't worry. We can figure those things out. And eventually when we have, um, when I'm in class again, I can always help troubleshoot you through it. But the one thing I will tell you is if you're really having an issue with one of these projects, stop just delete the whole thing, close the whole thing out, and then just start over from the beginning. Uh, I've put every step in there for you. I realize that there's a couple things that might be issues as far as troubleshooting, and this video, this specific video is all gonna be for the people who had problems with the burn or dodge tool. Um, now, sometimes certain colors don't work well. So you can see I've already created my layer, have my color in there it's just a random blue and now I've grabbed my dodge tool I've resized my dodge tool to about 225 it doesn't have to be exactly that I just want a decent sized brush and I put my hardness at zero so I'm about to go in here and dodge try to make things lighter and I'm clicking and I'm making my little circles and as you can see nothing is happening nothing at all um, and I know a few of you have mentioned you've had this issue. All right, so my dodge tool is not working and I just can't get it. You're not doing anything wrong. Uh, you might be missing one little thing or there might be an adjustment that you need to make. And I'm sorry about that. It just happens to be some colors, just certain colors. And again, there are millions of colors in this color picker. Um, they react slightly differently than um, others. So number one, if you're having trouble and it's not working, make sure you're on the correct layer. If you're on the background layer and you're trying to do this, no matter if you have it right or wrong, nothing is gonna happen. So you see how I've selected the background layer here? If I try to dodge here, you'll see nothing is happening whatsoever. All right, I go back to my layer one, I make sure I'm selected here, I can see my blue dot there. Again, there was nothing happening here. All right, what else can I check? All right, certain colors, again, they're weird. I can't explain why, but up top on your tool options, next to the little dodge tool, your resize and hardness option, there's something called range. And right now the range is at midtones. That's by default. If I click that, you're going to see there are shadows and highlights. So let's just try highlights and see what happens. I'm going to switch the range to highlights and I'm going to come in and try again to dodge. Nothing is happening. All right, now I have here, I have three choices. Highlights didn't work, midtones didn't work. Let me try shadows. Let's switch it over to shadows and now it's working. Okay, so you know, it's a little issue. Um, I wish I could explain it. It's a long drawn out explanation why but it only affects certain colors. So you might have done this in like red and had no problems. Um, you might have done it in a slightly different shade of red and had all kinds of problems. Um, some of them you may have to switch to highlights and do it. Again, I switched to highlights, nothing's happening now. Oh, now it's actually erasing, uh, uh, dodging the part that I already did because that's actually a highlighted part. Um, but certain colors just a little wonky. So in this case, we want when we had and you have like a blue or like let's say a really light color, you may have to change that option to go back in there and do your burning and dodging. And again, the more you click and go over it, the lighter ultimately it will get. You may find you have the same problems with the burn tool. I'm gonna switch over to the burn tool. Again, I have that little tiny brush by default. I'm gonna go up there and change that. I'm gonna make it about, again, 225-ish and turn the hardness down. And now I'm gonna start trying to burn. And yeah, okay, I'm in mid-tones. And once again, I have the same issue here. I can't, it's not burning it, all right? So again, it worked on highlight on shadows last time. 
may work on shadows again. It may work on highlights. So I'm going to go over here on shadows and we see, lo and behold, it's not working. Um, so now I'm going to try it on highlights. And you'll see right away that highlights is working. So as you can see, just because it works one way for one particular color doesn't mean that it'll work the same way for each. All right, and that's just for those of you who might have been having trouble, that's a little bit of a fix. This is also for all of you guys, and that's why even though you may not have had this problem, I'm telling you guys to watch this video because ultimately we're going to burn and dodge our actual character. And you might find when you go through your colors that some colors behave a little bit differently than others. So if a burn or dodge tool is not working satisfactory and you've checked you're on the right layer, you've got the tool, you've adjusted it, and it, you did everything I did in the video and it's not working for you, check range. You could switch it to either one of these three and I can't tell you for this color this works and for that color that works. Obviously in my example, shadows worked for my dodge tool didn't work for my burn tool. I had to switch it to highlights for the burn tool. All right, and again, whatever you do over here, make sure you file save as a PSD. Again, that downloads straight to your computer and you'll be able to open it up later. I hope this video has been helpful. This particular one is not attached to an assignment. For anybody who wasn't able to do this for whatever technical reason, please try this now and then submit. For those of you who know this, this is good information for you to know later on when we're shading our character. Uh, I'm going to go on to a new video, and in my next video, we're going to go over what we're doing exactly over here for the shading. All right, guys. Um, I'm Mr. B, and uh, we're out.